Hi guys, Versus Education here with the second video of the HTML web programming series. And in today's video, we're going to be getting you set up and ready to start writing some HTML and creating your very own website. So before we can start going ahead and uh, start writing some code, we're going to need some kind of environment to work in. This environment essentially is going to give us allow a, a whole bunch of features, allow us to program more efficiently. So having said that, we're going to be getting you set up with uh, the piece of uh, code editing software that I use notepad plus plus this allows you to write in a whole bunch of different programming languages um, for the web including HTML CSS JavaScript etc etc so this also gives us a bunch of features to make it uh, all easy and uh, ready so let's just go ahead and go and uh, download it so if you want the link to notepad uh, notepad plus plus directly just go ahead and go into the description uh, on this video and you will find it or alternatively you can just go into google and uh, type in notepad plus plus as you can see i have done here so just go ahead and open up their website and just go ahead and press download it's a relatively quick and easy piece of software to install just open up the installer and then just press next a couple of times ignore the terms and conditions blah 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 but once you've got it done uh, just go ahead and open it up I'm pretty sure all of you know how to open up applications uh, if you're on Windows 8 you can just go ahead and press start and then just type in notepad plus plus or if you're on Windows go to start all programs notepad plus plus etc so once you've installed that you should have a little window that looks a little bit something like this the color scheme uh, will be somewhat different however the overall layout will be pretty much exactly the same so if you do want to change the color scheme to make it something a little bit easier for you just go over to um, over here where I did go to settings and then style configurator and just choose a style that you like I've got this one that I want so now we've got this we need to get you uh, set up and uh, in a place where you can actually make uh, websites with ease. So right now you just got a place where you can actually type your code. However, when you're typing your code, you will not be able to uh, see what you're doing. So having said that, I like to work in a sort of split screen mode. So what I do is I drag the text editor over to the right hand side, and then I have like window, and uh, then I have like Google Chrome with the website open on the left hand side. So to do that, let's just go ahead and create a new HTML document. So by default, you have a little new tab here and you can type your code in. Uh, so once you've done that, you need to define the language which you'll be typing in. So if you go over to language at the top right hand corner over here, you can choose from a whole bunch of lang uh, languages. All of these are uh, labeled alphabetically so you can find it relatively easy. So for example, if I wanted HTML, just go to H. Then just over to HTML if I want CSS, I can just go over and then go to CSS down at the bottom here. So let's just go ahead and uh, you know make that a HTML document. So once you've done that, it will um, highlight your syntax uh, appropriately, and also any documents that you save will be HTML or whatever language you use by default. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a quick HTML document here, so you can see the preview in action. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in some text real quick uh, so you can see it on the preview and you can see how well and quickly it updates in uh, the way that I do it and that hopefully everyone else be working in. Now keep in mind you can work in a different uh, sort of workflow slash environment than I do but for the most part this is the most simple and the most e easiest for a beginner. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this document now and as you can see by default it is a HTML document. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this as test. Um, you don't necessarily need to write in all these tags just to get a preview um, but just type in some text or whatever if you want to quickly test it and then open up the document wherever you saved it. In my case I saved it onto my desktop so I'm going to open it up here and uh, you can see that I've now got my HTML document with some text uh, you know that I just dumped on there so uh, this won't be updated live so you need to pretty much refresh every single time that you do this um, there is a shortcut to refresh in Google Chrome that being uh, F5 so I'm just going to quickly make a change to this document instead of this random face roll on the keyboard I'm going to type in hello world then I'm going to press ctrl s to save and then I'm just going to quickly refresh this by pressing F5 
and boom, it has updated. So hopefully now you should be at a point at which you can quickly and easily write code in HTML and preview it. If you didn't quite uh, follow along or don't get to the point where I am, just go ahead and rewatch it. But if you just want to recap uh, a few things, just make sure you create your new file, go to language, make sure you check the language that you want to use before you do anything else in this case it's going to be html so that's pretty much everything for this tutorial thank you for watching comment like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the next video goodbye